In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And God said, let us make man in our image. The Bible calls him Adam, one man who fathered us all. Now, genetics points to a scientific Adam. Microscopic clues in our DNA link every man on Earth back to one man, one common ancestor. To understand how this could be, we must discover scientific Adam's lost Eden. Enter his world and look him in the eye at an unexpected crossroads of Bible and biology. We're headed on a search for Adam. so different. The idea that we're all related seems impossible. It's hard to believe that six billion people all share the same ancestor. Yet three of the world's great religions, Christianity, Islam, and Judaism, believe in one man who fathered us all. That makes Adam a key figure in the beliefs of more than half the world. Now, science offers a chance to find a genetic Adam. A single ancestor whose DNA survives in every man on Earth today. From the Inuit of the Arctic, to the Amerindians of the Amazon, from the nomads of the desert, to the businessmen of Wall Street. Spencer Wells, a geneticist with National Geographic, will lead us on a journey to identify the scientific Adam and reveal what made him so exceptional that he could father all men on Earth. But how do you unravel a chain so many generations long? chain that leads all the way to the roots of humanity's family tree. I really need a tool, a kind of time machine to allow me to do that, a genetic time machine. Geneticists have developed just such a tool, a way to follow DNA trails deep into the past. Our search for Adam will uncover genetic secrets of an unexpected cast of characters. One of the greatest warriors in history. One of America's founding fathers. Even an Ethiopian prince who claims to be descended from an ancient biblical king. What links these men to scientific Adam? Their DNA. Most of our DNA is a jumble from all our ancestors. It's what makes each of us unique. But there's a section of our genetic code that stays almost constant. The Y chromosome, the special piece of DNA that only men have. It's passed virtually unchanged from father to son, like a family name. The Y chromosome links the men of today with the men who lived in the past. This tiny piece of DNA allows us to travel back in time through humanity's history. These days, we use DNA to test whether a man is the biological father of a child. Could it really link the billions of men alive today back to one ancestor? Wells believes the answer is yes. That the Y chromosome can trace the origins of men from all over the world. From Africa to America, all the branches on the tree join up in one trunk. The Y chromosome links men today back to their common ancestors. The key is to reveal super ancestors, 
men who left their genetic imprint on huge numbers. They're like branching points, where vast sections of the tree come together in a single man. Geneticists can trace them further and further back down the tree to the ultimate super ancestor, Scientific Adam. Our search starts in an unlikely place. With a super ancestor who passed his DNA to millions, he left such a vast legacy, Wells thinks he can trace it in a bar in San Francisco. The Bayview Boat Club is a watering hole for a group of Mongolian immigrants. These men have an outrageous claim. They think they're descendant from the great Mongol emperor, Genghis Khan. So how many people in Mongolia really believe that they're related to Genghis Khan? Every single person in the country. Every single person, there are, there are, as far what, as I 10 know. Million people living in it seems preposterous, as if everyone in America believed they were descended from George Washington. But if there's any truth to their claim, these men will link back to a common ancestor who lived generations ago. The first step on our journey back toward Adam. So are you guys interested in finding out if uh, you could be related to Genghis Khan himself? Yeah, yeah let's go. Okay, and then uh, I'll pass... Tapping the, the power of DNA starts with a person. basic tool. They're sterile, by the way, which is kind of like a glorified toothbrush. Pull it out of the container. Looks like that. Just, Just a few it. cheek cells, it. and Wells can unlock mm -hmm. secrets from our genetic past. The With a simple swipe, Wells okay. hopes to trace these men all the way back to a famous warrior who lived 800 years ago and thousands of miles away. Genghis Khan is one of the greatest historical figures of all time. Eight centuries ago, he ruled one of the largest empires the world has ever seen. What are the chances that a couple of guys in a San Francisco bar could be related to such an extraordinary man? Machines analyze the Mongolian's DNA, looking for traces on the Y chromosome that could link them to Genghis Khan. The odds against finding a connection seem astronomical. But Wells has some surprising news. I've got the results. He's found evidence that two of these men are related to Genghis Khan. These are your results. Sarah and George Demberau. And Bator Tumor. All right. What makes Wells think that these men link back to Genghis Khan himself? He's never met them before. He doesn't have their family trees. And he doesn't have Genghis Khan's DNA. But Wells believes the Y chromosome can confirm the link.